Yeah. All the notching, everything that you had to do by manually. Yeah, I mean, but this was a lot of noodling because it's already a cage. Right. That is a whole cage. In yeah, a day. exactly. In a day. Bro, he designed it in one day, cut it. He designed it's and cut sick. it in a day. Yeah. Way too sick. And then we put it together in a day. It makes me feel like I ruined 15 years of my life learning how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> So we picked up the car for Media Blast, Sand Blast, and uh, it came out amazing. The guys at Abrasive do such a good job. Another local company. Everything. I mean, we just have a little bit of areas to kind of brush up with a wire wheel. It's no big deal, but man, it is absolutely beautiful. All the way underneath as well. So to stitch well, this thing is gonna be a breeze. If you guys remember the S14 uh, with Serge and Ashton, I mean, the work just comes out stellar i mean it, it's like anything the better the prep the better the outcome of the work we're fitting up this cage that my buddy rob parsons um 3d scanned an s15 and then drew up the cage in cad and then he goes through goes through like a laser notching system and laser notches all of the all of the tubes and then he goes and bends everything so it's just a direct bolt I mean look at the fitment on this how much time does this save you uh, it's like a week like weeks that's at least a week's worth of time doing this. Yeah. so especially on, since we're on such a, a big time crunch I mean we're literally what usually takes people a year or, or two magnet. we're doing in two months three months yeah yeah if you think about it so having good friends with resource like this is is so beneficial so again thank you so much to uh rob at cage kits uh if you guys are interested i'll uh post a link down below in the description below if you guys uh are looking for a prefab cage i mean look at even all of the uh the base plates are just insane such good quality. I mean, look at that. Like a glove, guys. Like a glove. Um, I'm gonna need your help talking to these. Uh, so far, what I've done is I prepped. You can see all nice and polished up, ready to go. It's crazy because the because chairs Rob, chairs uh, Rob, uh, laser etches these marks so you know where each bar goes and I thought they were gonna go away after sanding and prepping and they didn't it's lightly engraved which is awesome so prepping everything what I'll do is pretty much I will tack everything all the tubes um, once it's all tacked I'll take it apart in pieces weld those pieces together drill holes to drop the cage so I can weld the tops and then uh, slowly put it all back together. Should, shouldn't take more than a day or two. Johnny's like one of the best. been uh, locking down all this stuff I've been on the phone of the computer all day um, kind of just finalizing everything for the year with our partners got some really good support for this car this year um, I'm really really excited some uh, some really top tier companies uh, it's definitely gonna be the best car that we, we've built today um, me and the boys respectively but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work that's ahead, but it's just such a rewarding process. You know, this, like I mentioned before, I mean, this this thing has just been a staple, a staple for us. 
in, in our commitment to drifting and the sport and in the way that we believe things should be done um, in terms of uh, execution, style, all that stuff, functionality. Um, we still have some pretty, some pretty good uh, stuff in the works with this car as well this year. Down to like 70? Yeah. Sure. doesn't touch the body in at least four points, you need to have somebody else make a cage. That's just all there is to it. And this thing is cherry. I love it. Doc, that took you like less time than t cutting all that thing out. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> once, I, once we got this side, it was like, what, 10, five minutes? Yeah. I mean, I could get the rest by another like five, 10 minutes. Doc, this went from like a five day endeavor to like, Maybe 16 hours. Yeah. If you were taking it, you're looking at like five, six hours. I mean, making it, not taking it. Maybe that's what they're for. You could probably put a gusset if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. Look at that. This cage is its own brace. Look at that. Yeah, Look at I mean, it's so tight fitting. There's not a single gap up here. This is all perfect, TIG weldy. Perfect. All of it's perfect. So I'm never gonna make a cage ever again. <laughs> you just hit a rob, dude. You know, cage kits, baby. Which is what matters. Yep. So the importance of having the cage so close to the chassis, for those that dude, don't know, so tight. You want the cage to basically brace the chassis. You know, like, like dimple dies and gussets, or. or gusseted plates with, with dimple dyes in them. You know, they look really cool. And, you know, they do have, have, have some, some benefits to them. But in our case, we want to keep this car as simple as possible. And weight is of concern. You know, our, this, this car was super heavy. It was like 3378 with me in it. It was like 200 pounds overweight. Now, this car weighs, the 14 weighs 3050 with me in it. So. That's he even has, better. He has options to keep uh, like door panels and shit. I mean, yeah, like keep your door panels, remove the door panels, cut the shit. There's never a reason to make it under the roll cage. Uh, it's just, it's not, not, not manually? No. Like, well, like we were saying, I mean, you've Man spent no. all day doing this manually. Yes. Which, which is good work. For, yeah. for especially considering all the bends, all the notching, everything that you had to do by manually. Yeah, I mean, but this was a lot of manually because it's already a cage. Right. Like that. Is a whole cage. Yeah, day. exactly. In a day. Bro, he designed it in one day, cut it. He designed it and cut sick. it in a day. Yeah. Way too sick. And then we put it together in a day. It makes me feel like I ruined 15 years of my life learning how to do that. <laughs> um, we're going to finish weld everything on Monday. And uh, we just got to make a couple base plates. We might add a little bit to it. We might add like a little down bar right here to, to 
stiffen the chassis a little bit more. Um, we're kind of contemplating if we want to add a gusset or two here, but I mean, it just fits so tight. I, I don't see wasting time on doing that. I think it's going to do a fantastic job just as it is. Um, and let's just stick, keep plugging away after that. Um, Got to order some stuff. The RB30 block 26 head will be here on Tuesday. And uh, difference from, you know, 25, 26 to a 30 block is about an inch uh, difference on the deck height. So uh, we have to take that into consideration or, you know, we could, we would have potentially just taken what we had out of the 14 and kind of bought everything up, but um, that won't be the case. So kind of a, um, a little bit of a waiting game after that. I mean, during the out next few days throughout next week, uh, we just got to go through and finish prepping the rest of the chassis, do all the spot welding, cutting certain areas off, like the rear quarter's got to come off, um, cut the tubs out, and uh, just kind of continue on from there. And that should kind of uh, get us where we need where, you know, more parts will start coming in and uh, we'll just keep plugging away from there. But, um, yeah, it's crazy what you're able to accomplish when you've uh, done this a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the support as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. No big deal. Until next time. Later.